Wow Body Now, we are going to start our interval timer because our first three intervals are actually our warm up. So we're going to get going here in about 12 more seconds. What you're going to need today is a set of dumbbells, a mat, and a jump rope or a light set of weights. I'm using a light set of weights because we have low ceilings and I don't think my jump rope would work. <laughs> and it's wet because it's been rainy outside and it's a little bit early and I don't want to wake up the neighbors jumping around on the deck outside. So we are pretending to jump rope here. We're just doing little bouncing, tiny bouncing heel digs and pretending to turn the rope. This is your subscriber's choice workout, by the way. I forgot to mention that. I took all of your feedback from our giveaway video and I tried to do, create a workout that would make mostly everybody happy. Lots of you mentioned that you loved interval training. All right, we are gonna do a caterpillar. <laughs> Lots of you mentioned that you wanted arms and or shoulder work, which is very interesting to me because I'm, I'm kind of focusing on some shoulder work lately too. A couple of you said you liked the jump rope intervals and a few people said they wanted a 30 minute workout. Lots of people said they like focusing on certain body parts. Anyway, I know I can't please everybody all the time, but I hope this workout makes most of you, if not all of you, happy. So we're walking out and in here, coming up, a little caterpillar here, getting the core and the upper body more engaged and warmed up. If you have a couple different sets of weights, you might want to grab them. Sometimes you might want to go heavier. Sometimes you might want to go lighter. Okay, we're going to squat and press. Sitting back, pushing hands overhead. This is our last warm-up interval. After this, you're going to grab your jump rope. <laughs> Keep going. I forgot that we have 15 seconds in between. But for the warm-up, we don't need a break, right? We'll just go straight through. So what I was saying is that after this one, I want you to grab your jump rope. We're going to get right into jumping rope. After that, you're going to grab your weights, and we're going to do an upper body move. Then we'll do a lower body move. And we'll go back to jump rope. We are not repeating any exercises until the last two exercises just because we're going to do one side and then the other. There you go. At the top, squeeze your buttocks, push your hips forward. Keep it up, keep it up. Three more seconds. All right, I'm grabbing my little one pound weight that gave me a little added extra resistance. I'm going to pretend to jump rope and we're going to start with a nice simple bounce, kind of still easing into the workout here. Good posture, head up, shoulders back, abs in, turn that jump rope. It's okay, it's okay Gizmo. Nice. Really you're landing on the balls of your feet and your heels aren't even touching the ground. button in. Beautiful. Elbows are not super far away from your body as you're jumping rope, right, right? A little bit out, not totally tucked in either. Knees stay nice and soft. We're going to do a shoulder exercise, so don't go super heavy on your weights. What you want to be challenged. So, right arm is going out to the front, left arm out to the side, and then switch. I call this an L raise. Working the top part of our shoulder. As you're standing there, please remember good posture. Think about keeping your ears, shoulders, hips, knees, and ankles in line. Your knees are soft. And you want to make your torso tall, tall, tall. Definitely you can feel your core muscle working. Because we have our arms doing two totally different things, it kind of messes with your balance and really forces you to engage your core. 
Let's make a mind-muscle connection here. Think about the top of your shoulders. Squeeze them. Squeeze them. Nice. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go a little bit heavier with my weights here. We're going to do a squat and a curtsy next. All right. So, give me a squat, curtsy. I'm not coming all the way up. I'm staying in the contraction to really challenge myself. Squat, curtsy, staying low. Squat, curtsy, squat, curtsy, squat, curtsy, squat. Drop that booty in that squat. Oh, it burns. Squat, curtsy, squat, curtsy. Working the muscular endurance, toning, and shaping the glutes and the thighs. Oh, okay. Grab that jump rope. Control your breathing. It's an active recovery. Stretch, keep moving slightly. Here we go. Jump rope, light on your feet. Turn that rope. You got it. Keep it up, keep it up. My heart rate's getting up there. That's what we want. Make it challenging. If you can go faster, go faster. If you mess up, it doesn't matter. Just start all over again. Nice, nice. We're going to do thrusters next. Thrusters, you use your lower body a little bit to help you get the weights over your head. I'm going to keep them at that slightly heavier weight. Whew. Control your breathing. You're going to start with them at your shoulders. You bend your knees slightly and you use your lower body to push them overhead. But it is mostly a shoulder exercise. You're going to feel that pretty soon if you aren't already. I like thrusters because they really are a cardio move too when you have weights that are challenging. Come on. Abs in. Push those weights out in front of you slightly. You should see them out of the corner of your eyes. Okay, what's next? Squat, jack, double pulse. So I'm not going to use any weights because we're going to do a little plyometrics here. Get into your squat. Give me a jack, double pulse. In, out, double pulse. In, or out, in, double pulse. Out, in, pulse, pulse. Out, in, down, down. Out, in, down, down. Out, in, down, down. There you go. Out, in, down, down. Knees are staying behind your toes. My chest is open. In, down, down, out, in, down, down, out, in, down, down, out, in. Oh, okay. Whew, we're going to grab the jump rope once again. Catching your breath, sipping your water if you need it. I'm going to do butt kick jump rope this time. So as you're jumping rope, pull those heels back. Nice. Are you pulling your abdominals in? Are you standing up tall? I hope you said yes to both things. You got it. Go. Go. Push. Hang in there. Keep it going. Don't give up. Press. It's going to work our 
shoulders, and even into the top part of our chest. So, palms are up, take it out to Y, and pull it in. So, I'm kind of come slow down. That's where you'll feel the chest. A little bit, kind of by your armpits there. When you concentrate on the movement that's coming down here, that's called the eccentric contraction. And that's a great way to tone up and build your muscles. So we're not rushing it on the way down. Nice and slow down. Knees are soft. If you're standing there with locked out knees, you might feel dizzy. So soften them up or keep walking around like me. Okay, what are we doing next? Front lunges, so I'm gonna go back to a little bit heavier. I'm going to 13 pounds in each hand for me. We're gonna do front lunges. Step forward, push back. And just alternating, make a big enough step so that when you go down, your knee is right over your ankle. Don't bang that back knee. Hang in there. Almost there. You got it. Come on. Less than 10 seconds. Keep pushing. Nice work. Okay, grabbing that jump rope again. So we did three shoulder exercises for the upper body. We're gonna move on to biceps next after this jumping rope. And I'm gonna take it to high knees this time. Pick those knees up. Pick those knees up. Staying light on your feet, landing toe ball heel. Yes. Just those biceps are lifting. I'm not leaning back. Nice work. What's coming up? Let's see, let's see. We are gonna do side to side lunge. I'm gonna have one of my weights. I got lost there in my list. Stay low, side to side. Now I'm holding this weight, but my back is flat. I'm keeping my chest open, looking up at you. If you look down, you might be tempted to round your shoulders, so keep looking at me, shifting your weight side to side. Nice work. Beautiful. Keep it going. Okay, grabbing your jump ropes. Hooray! Shake it out. You ready? I 
heart rate's going to start climbing again. I'm going to do jack jumps. So feet open and close. If you're actually in a jump rope, you can't really open your feet really wide. So I might look more like this. Tiny little jack jumps, right? I don't actually have a jump rope, so I'm going a little bit wider. Abs in. Shoulders back. There you go. Light on your feet. I'm so proud of you. We are over halfway done the workout. Just a little over halfway done. You made it this far. Stay strong with me. Okay, so this next bicep move, we're going to add a little elbow lift at the top because our biceps actually help us lift our shoulders too. And so, curl all the way up, have your shoulders in front of you. Now lift the weights to your nose, lift your arms slightly, and back down. This is just taking advantage and getting a complete contraction. So curl, lift, bring it down. Curl, feel that extra contraction at the top. Curl, lift, bring it down. Curl, lift, bring it down. Nice. Curl, lift, bring it down. Keep going. Curl, lift, bring it down. 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 Nice. Okay, what are we at here? We are going to do a stiff leg deadlift. So I'm going to go to my heaviest weight. I want you to think about tight abdominals, back flat, knees mostly straight, shoulders back, squeeze between your shoulder blades, hinge forward, come up strong and squeeze your butt, lock out your hips. Forward. Now, depending on your flexibility levels, Maybe you're not going as far as me. Maybe you're just taking the weights to your knees. Just do your best. Work with your flexibility. Up strong, lock out. Down, up strong, lock out. We're working hamstrings, glutes, lower back here. Beautiful. We're going to go back to that jump rope. And we're going to be doing triceps next for our arms. So I'm going a little bit lighter on my weights again, just preparing for that. But right now we're just going to jump rope. So I'm going to do the cross country footwork, shuffling the feet forward and back, turning my rope. Nice. Light on your feet. I know I keep saying that, but I want you to remember that. Your heels don't even really hit the floor when you're jumping rope. This jump rope is just to add an extra calorie burn and to really keep that heart rate up to get a great cardio workout. I know you feel it. I feel it too. Keep it up. Almost there. Almost there. Okay, so we're gonna do overhead triceps. I actually am gonna take, I'm just gonna use one weight because I have big, thick weights. So I'm just gonna use one weight, elbows in close, take it down and up. I'm actually gonna sit down here so you can see the weight at the top. Try it out. Sometimes when we're standing, we can actually use a little bit of our legs without meaning to. If you catch yourself doing that, sit down as you do it, and it'll help isolate those triceps more. Sitting or standing up really tall, squeezing at the top of the back of your arms, keeping your elbows in close. You got it. Alright, I'm not going to use any weights. 
going to give me a low lunge. So step back, touch the floor, lift the leg, come up a little bit, down, and switch. Low lunge, touch the floor, up, down, switch. If you can't touch the floor, maybe it looks more like this. That's okay. All right? I want you to have a flat back. Your shoulders are back the whole time. Nice work. Keep it up, keep it up. Okay, we are coming into another jump rope interval. Good morning, girls. Good morning. Careful not to trip on the cord there. All right, ready? Here we go. I'm just gonna do a regular bounce for right now. Nice. Standing up tall. I know you're breathing hard. Make room for your lungs to expand by standing up tall. If you hunch, it's gonna be harder to breathe. Shoulders back, abs in, standing up really tall. Nice. Nice, keep it up, keep it up, keep it up, go, 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 go. What? No, you can't have a cookie, but you can put one in your lunch. You don't eat cookies for breakfast. Get some cereal or something like that. <sighs> okay, I made cookies last night while they were asleep and I just found them. <laughs> okay, so we are going to be grabbing our weights. And I got all distracted. I forgot to go slightly heavier. There we go. Give me a squat and a kick. When you kick, remember to keep your knee slightly bent. You don't want to lock it out to then hurt that knee joint. Nice work. Come on. Push. Push. You got it. Keep it up. Ten more seconds. All right. We're going to do a triceps kickback. I'm going lighter on my weights. Pull your elbows back, squeeze them in, shoulders back, hinge forward, kick it back. My back is flat, I'm pitching my shoulder blades together and squeezing my elbows in close to my body. Come on, keep pushing, you got it. of the back of your arms, your triceps. As you extend those arms, squeeze them extra hard. Abs are still in, back is still flat. There we go. Okay guys, we are gonna do, all right, one more leg set. And then we're going to get down on the mat. I'm going to go a little bit heavier. I'm going to take it to 17 pounds per arm. You're going to give me a combo. Backwards, forwards, and switch. Back lunge, forward lunge, switch. Back lunge, Forward lunge, whoo! Back lunge, forward lunge. Back lunge, forward lunge, you got it. Back lunge, forward lunge, almost there. Back lunge, forward lunge. Back lunge, 
forward lunge, get down on your mat. All right, you don't really need anything except for your mat. Go ahead and lay all the way down. Take one leg up, the other leg out. Give me pulses, two, three, four, switch. One, two, three, four, switch. Pick your shoulder blades off the mat. One, two, three, four, switch. Your chin is tucked slightly. One, two, three, four, switch. You know why your chin is tucked slightly? Because that actually puts your neck in neutral position. And you want a nice neutral neck. Get your legs as long as you can. If you're not feeling flexible, it's okay. The knees are bent. One, two, three, four, switch. 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 Okay. We're actually going to do a tricep push-up Spider-Man combo. Beginners, do it from your knees. That's okay. With tricep push-ups, hands are directly underneath your shoulders. Elbows stay close and scrape your body. Tricep push-up. Spider-Man. Spider-Man. Bring that knee to the outside of the elbow. Crunch. Crunch. Push-up. Crunch. Crunch. Push-up. Crunch. Crunch. Come on. Push-up. These last few exercises are all about the core and your abdominals. So, keep it up. You got this. Go, go, go. Oh. Okay. We're going to do a leg lift reverse crunch. Keep your head down. Just have your hands either next to you. If you need a little left help with the reverse crunch, have your hands underneath. Start with your legs up. Give me a reverse crunch. Lower them as low as you can while keeping a connection back to mat. Lift, crunch, lower. Lift, crunch, lower. I'm going slow because I'm not using momentum of lifting the legs to lift my hips. I want my abs to do that. So go nice and slow. It's not rushed. Lower, oh yes. Lift, crunch it up, lower. Nice work, keep it going. Lift, lift, lower. Whoo, lift, lift, lower. You got it. Ah. We're gonna do a side plank series. <clears throat> These are the last two intervals of the day, guys. So we're gonna do one side and then the other, right? Yes, that's right. Okay, so come up into your side plank. Give me a forward crunch, elbow to floor, elbow to knee. Elbow to floor, elbow to knee. Elbow to floor, you got it. Elbow to knee. Woo, elbow to floor. Elbow to knee. Keep it going. You got it. Feel those obliques working. Push those hips up away from the floor. Elbow to floor. Elbow to knee. Elbow to floor. Elbow to knee. Keep it up. Elbow to floor. Elbow to knee. Oh yeah. Elbow to floor. Elbow to knee. We're going to get set up on the other side, guys. We're almost there. I'm doing obliques. Okay. Shoulder tracking right over wrist. Distance between your ears and your shoulders. Pick it up. Beginners, you can have the bottom knee down. That's okay. It'll look like this if you need to. Elbow to floor. Elbow to knee. <laughs> Elbow to floor. Elbow to knee. Keep it up. I want you actively lifting those hips up, squeezing your obliques. Squeeze that waistline. Push those hips up away from the floor the entire time. We're almost there. Just about 12 more seconds to go. You got this. Don't give up. Come on. 
come on. Oh, we did it. Guys, thank you so much for joining me. Thank you so much for being a subscriber to Wow Body Now. If you happen to have, be watching this video and you haven't subscribed yet, hit the subscribe button and I want you to have a fabulous weekend. All right, we'll be right back here Monday for another Mat Work Monday workout. Until then, always remember, no excuses, no regret, just sweat everybody. Bye. Bye.